G'day everyone, welcome to Marcus TV Gaming and it's Chaos Show Pro Wrestling presents the final group for Survivor of the City. We have made it to the last round for Group B and uh, you can see the, our match card, it's going to be very interesting. Our uh, first match card will be LA Lost vs Tornado Kid. Match 2 will be Student X vs Big T. Match 3, Big L vs Nathan Scott. Match 4 will be Marcus vs Chip. Marcus has not scored a win. So he needs a win. Don't know if that's going to help him to get into the quarterfinals or, or a playoff. We'll see soon. And the final match will be Johnny Lockman versus DJX. Now, of course, after that, we'll see who's going to be where. Are we going to have a playoff? We already got uh, a singles match happening for Group A for the last wrestler to be in the quarterfinal. And... I was going to put that on at the end of this this group, but we'll, I will have a special with uh, that one and maybe Group B as well. We'll see after what happens, the matches. So without further ado, let's go to our first one. LA Lost versus Tornado Kid. So what can Tornado Kid do? He got a win over Marcus last time. We're at Perth. As I mentioned before, I am your host, Marcus, if I didn't mention that before. And Sir Giggles will draw me down the road. He's busy, of course, getting close to Christmas, so he is very busy at the moment. LA Lost got a win in the first round, and then it's just been like a bit of a roller coaster up and down. So he will see what he can do. The leader of the Bad Street Boys, his other member, Big L, we'll see down the further, has done extremely well. As the lights go off, here comes the Hardcore Hardware Champion, Tornado Kid. What can this man do? Going to be a very interesting match. The freeze in there, ready, selling us, so they're ready now. The, he rings the bell, here we go. And still away, a kick and a kick and a slap. Good efforts on to LA Lost by Tornado Kid. What's Tornado Kid going to do? Oh, what a move that is. Almost an attitude adjustment type move. Hits him up. What's going to do? Harlem side kick straight there and there. And now he's going to go up top. What is he got in mind? He is going to go for a leg drop. What a leg drop. That was absolutely beautiful. Off the top rope. He's going for a cover straight away on LA Lost. Goes for a cover. One. Oh, just a one count. Doing some shadow boxing when he should be focusing on LA Lost. He picks him up anyway. Had enough time. Forearm to the head by Tornado Kid. Going to put him in a submission. Nope, he's going to drive that left knee down onto the mat. Oh, went for the Texas Tornado. I think that was. Yes, it was. His Texas Tornado move straight away. Didn't pin him. I was surprised. Now what's he going to do? Is he going to run? He's going to run and send him in. Oh, trying to go for a boot over on the head of LA Lost. But LA Lost ducked and he went over the ropes outside onto the floor. He's got him up. Oh, my goodness, what a move by Tornado Kid. Showboating as well. Well, he can. Well, he's stunned. Got a record. Rainmaker onto the LA Lost. LA Lost in serious trouble here. Sends it back into the ring. Do it again, is he? Record a rainmaker. Yes, it is. Goes for it again. He's not going for a cover. He's going up top again. Looks like he is. He's going to climb up the top. Waiting for our lost. Our lost stunned. He's waiting for him. You can see him right up there on the top. What on earth he's going to do here? Oh, what about that? A splash off the top. And now he's going to go up the middle rope here. Ask him to get up. Turn on a kid on fire here. 
Going for drop kick. Rocket drop kick. It looks like going for a cover. One, two. Oh, gets out of it. <laughs> Nearly a three. Oh, LA lost. LA lost. Not giving up yet. Come on, kid. Really in charge here in this match. Oh, backhand slap. Holy cow. <laughs> That was, I guess you can call that cyclone. Going up, elbow drop to the back. Hits it. Hits it. He's going to go for a pin. No, he's not going to go for a pin. Is he going to set up for something? No, he's not. Going to send him to the corner turbuckles here. In Perth. What's he going to go for? Oh, he's going for the Tornado DDT. Hits the Tornado DDT and drew his blood on LA Lewis. Going for a cover. Referee's right there. One, two, no. Kick out. LA Lewis. Not giving up. Oh, he's going to go for it, I do believe. Texas Tornado hits it. Hits the Texas Tornado. Is that it? One, two, three. And Tornado Kid gets the win in Group B. Really surprised with LA lost. He didn't put up much of a fight. So, really surprised. Don't know what happened there. I wonder if he's injured. Don't forget, he had a brutal mat match with uh, Bricks, remember? at uh, Nightman Cow Street, which was the Hell and Cell match, so he may be not still over that yet. So it may be affecting him. But there's your winner, Tornado Kid. We'll see where that puts him in the championship. We'll look at that at the end of the matches. But uh, uh, sorry, Tornado Kid is your winner. What a match for that man, Tornado Kid. Our next match, how about this one? Student X versus Big T. This is going to be interesting. Two guys who are dominating at the moment in Group B along with Big Al. Student X, what can this man do? He's not a tall guy, of course. He is a member of School of Honor. What can he do? Student X, the mysterious Student X, the former Triple Chaos Champion. And here comes the member of the faction, Big T. Asked Big T early on, who is this new member they, that uh, Terry Brooks is mentioned about? We will see at War Games. And he smiled and said, I'm not going to tell you. That's simple as that. He said, you can, you have to wait until he arrives at uh, War Games. So here we go. Look at Big T. He is pumped. He's jacked. And straight away they lock up. And he's got him up, going for a suplex. Oh, this is bad because he is seven foot tall. And the blood rushing to the head of Student X. And we can't tell what the, his uh, facial expressions are doing because he is fully masked. They're right there and there. No one knows who this guy is. And a stomp after being slammed down on the mat. Big T. He is feeling this right now. Punched in the head by Big T on Student X. Student X is so much trouble here he's got him up oh drops him on the top of the turnbuckle and of course he that was probably about nine feet in the air onto that turnbuckle just a couple of feet off the turnbuckle but anyway wheelbarrow slam yes it is wheelbarrow slam on student x student x is in trouble oh he's going to go for a second one are you kidding me he's going for a second one. Oh my goodness and student x is really in trouble big t what's he going to do here oh he's going for that interesting submission hold I do not know what it, that is called I think he calls that the Mount Cravat lock so he has got the Mount Cravat lock on him the Mount Cravat is a suburb of Brisbane this is where Big T is from the Mount Cravat monster and oh my goodness trying to go for something goes for a neck breaker oh my goodness he's gone up top we have seen seven foot guys go up top and it's not going to be good He's going to fly. Oh, a headbutt on to the stomach of Stunex. Stunex is seriously in trouble. Big T is feeling. He's going to lift him. He is. De lift. What's he going to do here? Is he going to drop him? Yes. Oh, on that stomach. Stunex is rolling out. Smart move because he knows that guy is not going to fly over the top rope. Showbone is is Big T, which is a bad news because that gives a breather to Student X. Give him time to, a couple of seconds of rest anyway. That will help him. Referee's counting. He's back in the ring. Big T's got him up. No, reversal by Student X. Drop down, DDT by Student X. He had a fight for that one. Don't show boat, get on him. Oh, I hate that. Oh, <laughs> knee to the head. 
knee to the head. Then he just stomps on the calf muscle of oh, Big T. Don't show boat for crying out loud. Oh, it irritates me. Oh, he's in trouble now. Big T's got him up. This is bad. It's going to no. He's fighting out of it. He's fighting out of it, and he does. He fights out of it. Wait, he's going to what? On it. Flat on it. I thought he's going for the Spanish fly, but oh, that's not going to happen. My goodness, Thompson the back. Yeah, whales on him. Just punches after punches. He's trying his best. He's stomping on his stomach now. Big T's. Oh, I thought he was going to roll out, which I think Student X was hoping for. It's, oh, near to the head and sends him over to the top rope onto the floor. He's joining him underneath, um, outside. The lock up. That is bad news. That is bad news. Oh, no. Onto the barricade. Yes. Oh, that is a heavy. That's still underneath that barricade. Unbelievable. The referee's counting. I think. Oh, I didn't see what the count was. I think it was two or three. Oh, now, yes, I was right. Two. So that was three. Show boating, which he should be going back in the ring for. Referee, if he's if he could, oh, look at this, slams him on the chest a couple of times. I was going to say, if he drop kicks him on the ground and takes him off to get up, that would have been good. He's counting, still counting, so that could have been a good way to win for student X. Just keep him outside, kicks him. The referee's kept recounting again with 2 1. Oh, he's going for the elite trigger, yes, elite trigger on. Big T, Big T, who we thought was going to get a win after this, is now got a fighting opponent who's not giving up. Student X is not giving up in this match. Count, referees count to four. Student X has to get back in. He's taking his time, which is not good. That's going to give Big T a break. He finally gets back in just before the five count. DDT, no, not going to do DDT. What's he going to do? Oh, a sidekick. Oh, goes for it. Hall pass. Hits the hall pass. But he's got to carry this heavy man away from the ropes. Look at him, he's doing his best to drag him over. He finally does, but he's still close to the ropes. He saw his arm hit the, hit the ropes. Going for a cover. One, two, no, no, not over yet. We are now five minutes and 20 seconds to go in this match. What a classic match. This is as my printer. That's what you heard in the background. What an elbow. I don't know how that made contact with his head, but it did. And now Student X is going up. He's going to fly here. He's asking to get up. Big T is seriously in trouble here. What's going on? Five minutes to go. Drop kick. Drop kick by Student X. He's going for the cover. Goes for the cover. One, two, three. Wow. How did he do that? Student X never gave up. How about that? Here's a replay. The hall pass kick. Unbelievable. How about that? As my printer is going off. Incredible. And then goes for the drop kick. Double foot drop kick. Just uh, everyone is stunned. That's incredible. Student X gets the win. How about that? Here's the replay again. Gets a three count. I am absolute stunned. Student X. Who is this guy? That's incredible. Wow. That is amazing. Student X defeated big TF7 foot monster. Unbelievable. That was only match two. So Student X is in this one. I do believe he is into the final. He is made at the semi-final. Here we go. Big Al versus Nathan Scott. It's already been announced he is going to be opponent to Nathan Scott in War Games. Obviously the commissioner could not uh, wait any longer and just announced it when he was supposed to announce it after this match actually. I think it was. So here comes the next member of the Bad Street Boys. Big T. Former XRW champion. Former Outback champion. And here comes Nathan Scott. I think I didn't say Nathan Jones. I apologise, but it is Nathan Scott. I know the commissioners keep tell, keep uh, telling me to call him Nathan Jones just to uh, cheese him off, but I, we know that's definitely Nathan Scott, mate, Nathan Jones. So here comes Nathan Scott, the Chaos Zone champion. Who is going to be his opponent? It definitely won't be at uh, Christmas Chaos. That's for sure. If he makes it into the finals, that is, that is. So if it's in the finals, he will not. Uh, be able to defend that title. So here we go. Referee ringing the bell. Here we go. What a match this will be. And straight away, Big Al's got him up. He's going to send him into the turnbuckles here. It looks like he is. Oh, head first on the turnbuckles. On Nathan Scott. Big Al picks him up. Flatliner. A 
I said flat line, but it's not a flat line, I apologise. But how about that? That is devastating. Unbelievable. What is he going to do here? Picks him up. Dead left. Going to drop him behind. He is. Oh, that is nine feet up in the air. Nathan Scott in trouble straight away. Big Al. Got him up. Back breaker. Nope. He's going for a power slam, is it? Yes, it is. Standing power slam by Big Al. He's going to do it again, is he? No way is he going to do it. He is near. This time a running power slam. Hits it again. Nathan Scott in serious trouble. He's having himself up with the ropes. Going to seem to the other side. What's going to do? Oh, my goodness. Going to try to get Oh, what about that? One legged drop kick by Nathan Scott. Scott sends him outside the ring. He's following him. Big Al in trouble here. What's he going for? Oh, look at that move. Oh, sends him down onto the floor mat. Of course, like I said, there's only a thin floor mat behind, underneath his concrete. Referee's counter one. Trying to go for a neck, running neck breaker, but did not work. Scott has got him. Kicks him in the stomach. Punched in the ribs. Another punch by Big Al. Oh, just brings him down. And now showboats. Referee's counter four. Ring announcers out uh, down there uh, getting nervous. Oh, no. That, his head hit the stairs. You saw that. That's going to need a couple of stitches. Oh, no. Just sends him to the stairs again. Referee's counting. What's Big Al going to do now? He's going to get back in the ring. Seven. What Nathan Scott's got to do, he can't, he can't waste any time. He's got to get back in the ring. He's getting in now just as we're about to hit the eight count. And whoa. Big Al was posing, he got it, he got him up with power about that move. Lapjack on the stole move. He goes for a cover. One, two, no. Evan Scott needs more to, to pin Big Al. What we saw with Stu next with Big T, that was unbelievable. Can Nathan Scott do the same thing? Sends him, sends Nathan Scott into the turnbuckles in the corner pads. He's going to drop him down. Oh, another power slam. My goodness. Big Al, he's feeling this. Now he's going to go for a cover after the sort of posing for a bit. Goes for a cover. One. Just a one count. What a match. What an incredible match. Picks him up. This is bad news. Oh, gut buster. That's his signature move. That's his signature move. And now Nathan Scott is in trouble here. Big Al's waiting. Going to go for it. He's going for it. Elevation. Elevator. I don't know why I keep saying elevation. Elevator. One, two, three. And Big Al gets back-to-back -back wins and gets, I do believe, eight points. We'll have to look at that. There's that signature move. Oh, my goodness. That is devastating. That gut buster. Oh, it hurts every time you look at it. And then goes for the elevator. His finisher move just slams him down. Unbelievable. There it is again. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. The elevator. And Big Al defeats Nathan Scott. Nathan Scott may not be out, out of this competition. We'll have a look at the end for the scores. But he may not be out of this. Not yet anyway. That's for sure. So that loss with uh, one point may have helped him. Doesn't matter if it's a loss or a win. If you've got some good points. That will definitely could help you into the quarterfinals. Or even a playoff. So here we go. Marcus first chip. Can Marcus finally get a win? He has not got a win. He has only got losses. Leader of the Vigilante hits what I can understand. He's probably very frustrated with that. He wants to get this win. And here he comes to the ring now. Of course, the one half of the best of the best tag team champions. Of course, we'll see his tag partner DJX in the final, in the last final match. Leader of the Vigilante hit squad. What can he do here? Now if Marcus, or oh, we'll definitely know Marcus is not going to get in the final, but he may get a playoff. We'll see what happens. If he does not, uh, both him and DJX does not make it in the finals, they will defend their tag titles uh, at uh, Christmas Chaos. So that's going to happen. And we can tell you it will be uh, Big Mac, the next kid, we're already on a roll, so they will go against those guys. The take-offs. That's if, if uh, they are both 
are in this. Uh, if one is out, uh, then that one can either have a singles match or go for another title, which I do believe Marcus would like to go, go for the Phoenix title. That's his goal, so we'll see what happens there for Marcus. So here comes Chip, one half of Chip and Dale, because Dale is his tag partner who defeated him last time on Nightmare on Chaos Street and uh, got the TV title off him. So here he goes. Of course, he's got a nasty gash on the left side of his head, so he's still feeling got some stitches as he picks Marcus up. What's he going to go for? Oh, straight away. Hit a move. I think normally you see him do that near the end of, of the matches if he's dominating. What's he going to do here? Oh, trying to go for a punk kick, but missed. Marcus gets out of this one. Marcus with a scissors. DDT. What a move that. By Marcus. Marcus going to the middle rep. Going for that. Oh, trying to go for a side, a side kick type move. I think it was Enziguri. But uh, he is knocked down by Chip. Another kick. A couple of kicks from the punches. Oh, a spin me up. A spin me right in the face. But Marcus is up. Marcus not going to do with this. He's going to drop that knee onto his uh, chips his leg. What can this man, the kick butt machine, know can, what he can do here? It could be sent up for the submission transmission with that move. Double foot stomp. He had that to his new um, line of moves. As the truck goes by. Oh, this is bad because Marcus knows to fly. He's going for it. Oh, look at this. Oh, <laughs> corkscrew off the middle rope. And then double stumps him on the outside. The referee's counting. Drop kick by Marcus. Marcus really wants this. He needs a win. Punches him. What's he going to go for? Suplex maybe? No. What's he going to go for? Knee breaker. It is. Oh, drops the knee on his knee. Chip is in trouble. Oh, he pushes Marcus away. Chip, what can he do here? Oh, Marcus trying to go for a drop kick, but he was already in the ring. Oh, <laughs> and while he was doing that, Chip was going to go for a fly, but Marcus ran in the ring. He saw it coming, and uh, Chip landed on his back. Oh, look at Marcus. Oh, what about that? Chip for, Chip was planning to get back in the ring, and Marcus just flew again. He double stomps him, then kicks him again. So, I believe he outsmarted him. Throws him to the barricade. Marcus gets back in the ring on three. I think he's just going to... Yeah, he's saying that's it. No, he's not saying that's it. I thought he was going to got the ring count but no oh no he's changed his mind now he's going to get outside referee's counting he could have let him yet just stay there outside and get the win but that's not Marcus he wants to pin him oh no oh no and that hit the side of the head where he's already got gassed it last time that is terrible oh he gets out of it Chip does oh oh almost like a KID style map that's Marcus style move Harlem sidekick, yes. Unbelievable. Referee's counted to five. This could be a double count. We might have our first draw, but it's not going to happen. Sends him into the barricade. DDT, uh, well, no, it's going to be a suplex. No, just drives him down. Oh, my goodness, on to the top of the barricade. Referee's counted to six. So this could be, as we have seven minutes to go, this could be a count out, but no, he sends it back in the ring. Seven minutes to go in this match. Oh, Marcus waiting for him. No, what on earth? Oh, he's trying to go for a clothesline. Doesn't work. Neck breaker by Marcus. Double knee, yes. No, just the one single knee onto the head. Marcus is going to climb up top. That's bad news. That's bad news. Chip's got him. Oh, no. Marcus thought he was going to go for something. Goes for cover. One. No, just a one kick. I think Marcus is going to go for that Sayonara drop kick from the top of the rope. But didn't work. Oh, boot to the head. And now Showboat's while Marcus is trying to get up. This is bad news. He's going for it. Here it comes. Hits it. Hits that clothesline. Unbelievable. Marcus in trouble. Marcus trying his best to get up. Chip is kicking him on the ankle. Oh, he's going to stomp on that shoulder. Oh, my goodness. That is terrible. Chip dominating here. What's Marcus going to do? He can't do anything. Oh, no. He's going for it. Pole dancer driver. Hits the pole dance driver. Cover. One. Two. Three, and that is it. Chip gets the win. Marcus does not get a single win in a tournament. That's the first time that's ever happened. Here it is, the pole dance driver. Oh, my goodness. He And Marcus is just walking away frustrated. He's not even looking back. He's, he's not happy. He's just walking away. He's just not, he's not himself, that's for sure. He's 
guilty about that. Can't blame him, really. Not a single win as Chip gets a win. We'll see what that does for... He may get into the playoffs. He may not get into the playoffs. We'll see what that happens. Up next, our main event, Johnny Lockman versus DJX. Here we go for this one. This is what we came to see. This is going to be a great match. We saw DJX and Stuart X last time in Group B. That was an amazing match. And now we're going to see it with Johnny Lockman versus DJX. What can Johnny Lock Lockman do? The member of War, where does that work? We saw his partner, Tay Partner, Mr. Classic, in Group A. I'll show you that again, what's going to happen. But here he comes. And of course, after this and after the other matches, we will go straight to War Games and do that as well. And then we'll come back and do uh, some other matches. Leading up to Survival of the City Final at Chaos. Christmas Chaos. We may have some championship deciders as well. I do believe Judge Rudy has is going to challenge Monster May for the Women's Championship, the Couch Championship, so be interesting to see. So here we go. Rocky rings the bell, here we go in this one. They lock up DJX straight away into a Spanish boy, onto Johnny Lockman, Johnny the Lock, formerly known as the Lock. He is in trouble straight away. What's he going to do? Double legs on the chest. It was on the chest, so it wasn't in the uh, nether region. He's going to go for something here, but no, doesn't. And with that, Lockman grabs him and sends him to the corner uh, against the ropes. What's he going to do here? Oh, look at this move. That has sent him there. He's going to send him to down. down. Oh, what about that? We saw him do that last time. Goes for the cover. One, two. I was trying to think what that, that move against the ropes he did with uh, GGX before. But I forgot what it was. He's going for DDT. Oh, and Stradway X is in trouble. He's bleeding. Hey, take down. Got a lock on him. This is a pill. DJ X is in trouble. Referee's asking him. No, he says. Gets out of it. Punches him in the head a couple of times just to get out of it. Oh, and he's hurt his leg now. It's sore as ever that he he's limping. He's going for a Spanish fly. Again, he does. And lands on that leg. Goes for a cover right away. One. No, one. How about that? What a match. Oh, he's trying to go for something off the top of the rope, or middle rope, but uh, Lockman's got him. Drops him down on the top of the rope. Goes for a cover. We've seen that before. One, two. No, two count. What a match. Oh, Johnny Lockman, he knows how to fly. This is bad for DJX. Look out. He's going for it. Oh, flies over the rope. Uses his foot on the middle rope for excellent uh, extra flight. And both are outside. He's got him up. What on earth is this? Oh, this is going to be a trick. Oh, no, he's gone for his signature. I think that's his signature move. I'm not sure. That was unbelievable. He's going to go for it again, is he? He is going for it again. Oh, hits it again on the guts of DJ X. DJ X in trouble. Sends him to the barricade. My goodness, the, and the ring announcers. Uh, sorry, the announcers. Oh, I'm getting nervous again. What about that uppercut in the back of the head? Couple of snaps. Oh, he's doing right. He's right close to the ring. The ring announcers uh, at ringside, and they're getting nervous. You can see him standing up. Referee's count of seven. That was a suplex right near the chest. Johnny Lockman's getting back in the ring. Referee's counting. DJ X could be. Oh no, he's gonna. He's gonna break it. He's gonna break it. That was a bit of sportsmanship there by Johnny Lockman. What is he gonna do now? No, he's gonna. They're both gonna do so. Oh, I think he's gonna go for wheelbarrow, but didn't work. Lockman didn't see that. Thankfully, the referee's counting three. He get get back in the ring. Oh, he's gonna bring him outside. He's he's got. Uh, he had an idea to get Lockman back outside the ring. He's going to do it again. Sends him to the stairs. That was his plan. The referee's counting to two. Sends him. What's he going to do? No. Nope. I thought he was going to do something there, but he doesn't. He is now going to get back in the ring. This is absolute crazy. How about this? I've got the fan on, by the way, so you may hear noises in the background. Oh, what about that? And a clothesline. No, Lockman's up. What's he going to do? Back body drop, he does. Watch out, this could be a spine buster following him. It always is. Spine buster. Spine buster, will he go for a cover? 
No, he's not going to go for a cover, DJX. He's not going for a cover. What's he? Oh, spin kick. There's that spin kick. That's devastating. Goes for the cover. One, two, no. They're about there. That's incredible. That was a two count. DJX. That's going to, oh, he's going to send him to the corner post. The turnbuckles. Could be going for his single move. He, oh, he's finished, there, actually. He's going for it. Still don't know what he calls this, but he's going to go for it right now. He hits it. Hits the move. Can he go for a cover? He's going for a cover. Right there. One, two, three, and it's over. DJ X gets the final win. The last wrestler to get a win in the group B. And there's that kick. Holy cow, that's devastating. Well, let's see that again if we can. There it is. Watch. Oh, watch the head of Johnny Lockman right there. He just knocks him down. And then hits that finisher. Wanting to finish moves. I think he calls that the Xfinity. So he calls that the Xfinity. And that is the win for DJX. So let's have a look while he celebrates at the scores and see what's going to happen in Group B. Well done to G DJX. Great result for him. So if he's in the finals, and then Marcus may go after that uh, Phoenix title. We'll see. Here we go. Let's have a look at the scores. Archer round four. Big T is in the playoffs. So he's in. Chip is in the playoffs. So he made it with that win from O Marcus. Nathan Scott is in the playoffs. He's in. Student X is into the finals. DJX is in the playoffs. Big L we saw with triple eight points in the finals. Out is Tornado Kid. Out is Marcus. Both got four. And out is also Johnny Lockman and L. A lost, so they all out. But how about that? So our next match we will have. Let's go to Group A. So, well, just quickly before we get to Group A, I'll tell you who they are: Big T, Chip, Nathan Scott, and DJX will go in a four-way elimination. So the Chaos Four elimination it will be happening. The first the Two, the two left, so it doesn't matter if the winner wins, he is already in. But the two left will be straight away into the finals. So even if the, we do have a winner out of that, uh, the one he pinned will be the two that will be into the finals. So we'll see. I think I'm maybe right there. Yes, I am, because we've only got two in the finals. So those two will be in the finals. If we had a third final into the finals, then it wouldn't be only one. So let's have a look at Group A. I'll tell you who they are. Degori versus Headmaster. They just had their match, so they're going to go for it again. So we'll have that on our special playoff show for Survivor of the City, along with Group B. So that is going to be interesting. I hope you enjoy the show, and looking forward to this one. Cannot wait. I am Marcus. Thank you for tuning in. Giggles should join me soon. Of course, we've got War Games coming up as well. And also Christmas Chaos to finish off for the year 2023. Hard to believe. Thank you for joining. And I'll catch you next time on Marcus TV Gaming. Along with Chaos, Chaos Show Wrestling presents Survivor of the City. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.